Welcome back to MTR. I've been putting Eurovision 2022 off for way too long and I need to hear these songs. And let's start with the host country. You know what? Italy brings such class every single year. And they're, they're constantly one of the favourites. <laughs> Except maybe 2016. But I really like that. I actually really like that song. That's the thing. And it's no wonder because... We forget that Italy is the home of music, is the home of classical music where, where things started in Europe. That's where the center is, European music, and this is what we've got. Am I doing the official video? Absolutely not. Let's go to the um, San Remo final so we can see what's going on here. And let's sort out for copyright. Blanco Mahmoud is back. Sognato di volare con te, sono abici di diamanti. Mi hai detto sei cambiato, non vedo più la luce nei tuoi occhi. La tua paura cos'è? Un mare dove non tocchi? I'm going to stop it here because I know something's happening and they're about to come in and sing together. It's very interesting. He's got such a lovely voice, I've got to say. And I've heard some great things about Blanco. Is he really famous in Italy? This melody is moving around a lot. And at the moment, I can't say it is so gripping uh, when I compare it to something like Titi Aborni last year, which just grips you with that guitar riff and with that melody in the verse. We've got this piano accompaniment, which is, which is just chords. So I'm interested to see how this builds. <laughs> Oh. He's got such a great falsetto. <laughs> he really does. Uh, stay tuned for my thoughts. Stay tuned for my thoughts. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Before we go into the um, middle eight section, the melody in the verse did not get me at all. Mahmoud's melody did not. But when we head into the second verse and those drums come in and the strings come in and Blanco is singing, I got to go back because I'm feeling like that first melody was so different the second time than it was the first. I mean, I'll look back at it again in a moment for an analysis, but I'm, I'm somewhat confused because the second that that second verse started, it gripped me so much more and that's worrying. But you know what? I can see it building. <laughs> Oh, 
so bene, no, che ci sputiamo ogni giorno, io non lo voglio più addosso. Oh, vedi, sono qui. Here we go. Sono amici di diamanti, uno fra tanti, non lo vuoi prevedere. No. A volte non so esprimermi e ti vorrei amare, ma sbaglio sempre. E ti vorrei rubare un cielo di pelle One more time E pagherei per Ooh. andar via Accenderei pure una bugia E ti vorrei amare ma sbaglio sempre E mi vengo nei primi libri di libri di libri Wow That is so interesting I don't know their chemistry on stage, their communication, their chemistry, the way they work together is incredible visually and vocally. I'm feeling like it's leaving a lot to be desired from a first listening because I'm sure this is going to grow on me. And I know if you're watching this, you probably want a very positive out outlook, but there's nothing I can say negatively about these artists because they're incredible. Like they, they are who they are. But there's something about it that's leaving a lot to be desired. Let me very quickly just see what's going on in the first verse. My issue is at this here is with the composition. Because Mahmoud, there's nothing there's no issue there. He's his vocals are on point. But there is so much going on melodically that it's hard to connect with and follow. Listen to listen to how much I mean it's beautiful, don't get me wrong. But in terms of making an impact on a first listening, take a listen to how much movement there is, starting with that descending run. <laughs> That one, a descending run, which is they're introducing a idea and then it goes astray with this descending melodic run. Here's that idea again. And then we don't have that descending run. It, it does not make sense to me. And then. And again, this this second part of the verse, which in my mind makes more sense than the first part, because at least you're repeating the same the same thing, the same melody, but it's so quick. <laughs> It's a beautiful chorus, and I think them coming in together here highlights the importance of this chorus. But when Blanco comes in with the next verse, yes, the drums are coming in, yes, the um, strings have a more prominent harmonic role, but I can't help but think compositionally the second verse is so much more sensible. By, see, by this time in Mahmoud's one, he had done that descending melodic run. Again, no problems with him vocally, but the problem with the composition here, you just state it twice. Like, what is this? It's like a completely... Uh, what's it based on? Because this is gorgeous and beautiful. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. I mean, their chemistry is amazing. I'm interested in why this is so high in the odds at the moment. Beautiful song. Amazing artist. Like, that's non-negotiable. And I know that there's so much toxicity out there in 
in the Eurovision fandom who who call things it's ridiculous. Like when you're making a statement about you not liking a piece of music, at least justify it. And people call things trash. People call it this. This is far from trash. This is get no none of us are in a position to call this that. But I'm calling into question what's going on between these two verses because this first verse doesn't make sense. The second verse is barely melodically based on the first verse, but it really grows from there. And of course, the chorus is the chorus. We, we hear it. Then this bridge. Like, where does this come from? Like, it's, it's, it creates contrast and it's interesting. But it then negates this gorgeous melody we've heard beforehand. This is going to grow on me, for sure. It's going to grow. But I think a first listening and a first impression is really, really telling. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. This is, I want to make it clear that I'm being honest. I can sit here and go, oh my God, this is amazing and, and be fake. But why? Why be fake? Um, please, please let me know in the comments your thoughts. Um, I'm always seeing them. I'm excited to hear these. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.